So this 21st century Jahiliya that we will be speaking of, we will look at the state of ourselves now, the state of the world as it is now, and we will look at it yesterday. We will look at it at the time of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. MashaAllah to our brother Yusuf when he mentioned about the Big Bang Theory. And we know what emanated from that. Darwinism. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because when this was brought in, when this was introduced to mankind, a concept was introduced that had never ever been known before that time. And that was to deny the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you go back centuries before that particular time, every year, every day, every people believed there was a deity that created all. Yes, they associated partners with our Lord, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they believed in a greater existence. So we're in a time now when people's intellect is that which is worshipped. We're in a time now when scientists have gathered together amongst the non-Muslims to try and disprove the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is a frightening time to be in if you don't know your deen, if you don't know your Lord. If you don't have no foundation of worship, it is a frightening time to be in. Because when you don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how then can you live? You are dead whilst you are alive. And let's look as we go through this time. I might use a somewhat unconventional approach. And for our non-Muslim guests who are here as well, this is for you as much as it is for the Muslims. You have to consider what your position is at this juncture. You have to consider at look, looking at the moral decay of society, where we are going to end up. You have to consider when I finish being intoxicated with the drunken, the, the love of this life and I die, is there really something after life? You have to consider this. Because you have been given the intelligence, you have been given the intellect, you have been given the ability to look. Brother Yusuf brought again another example of a Bedouin who spoke about just the traits of a creation. The camel that has gone by. Mankind if he's walked through the sand. Today we would acknowledge a Van Gogh painting, a Picasso painting, and we will marvel at it, those of us who are into art. But why then do we ignore the grand artistry of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we look at ourselves at very fingertips? When we look around us at the very creation as has been mentioned in the talk that preceded. And we will speak, we will look at why we ignore these things, our Muslims, our non-Muslim guests. But let me start with this, a tough thing that the Prophet said to some of his companions. And listen very carefully, because before we forget, the companions are those whom Allah attested to in Surah Ali Imran, Ayat 110, as being the best generation ever to have come forward from mankind. Allah said upon the Sahaba in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 143, that they were Ummatun Wasat. Allah said in Surah An-Nisa, Ayat 115, after using the Prophet as a criteria for guidance, he also used them. Whosoever contends with the Messenger Sallallahu we know this ayah, after guidance has been plainly conveyed to him and chooses a path, this is the qualification now, and chooses a path other than that of the believers, the Sahaba. They were used as a criteria. Why Allah says, we shall leave them in the path they have chosen. Those who turn away from the guidance of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those who turn away from the understanding, the faham of the Sahaba and the two succeeding generations. Allah says in this ayat, we shall leave them in the path they have chosen and land them in hell. What an evil journey's end. Those of you who are listening now, my talk will be forceful. 
my talk will be somewhat emotive because we are living in a time and we are living in a predicament where the Muslims are in a mess and mankind who are the rest of mankind